Okay guys, today we're going to be talking about a lightweight, or a reasonably lightweight, extremely durable summertime sleep system that is inspired by Capart. And using modern materials, or at least materials that you can get to this day, new and used. So let's talk about this simple sleep system that is effective, versatile, and pretty bomb proof. Okay, so... I've been reading a lot of Woodcraft and Camping by Kephart, and admittedly this does play some, or that book or Kephart's recommendations does play into this kind of system or bed roll to a degree. But I thought that it would be pretty fun to share this sleep system with you guys. It's very easy and it is a primarily summertime setup. This is not something that you want to use, you know, negative 50, but when it's reasonably warm out and you're just looking for some generalized comfort and cover, uh, especially if you are, you know, if you've built your own shelter or you're camping out in a tent, this system works pretty well and it's, like I said, pretty simple. It's not the lightest weight system, but it's actually not too heavy either. So let's jump into it. So essentially what I have here is a system that you can replicate even to this day uh, with either surplus, um, with either surplus equipment, military stuff, or you can buy a stuff new. So essentially what I have right here is a bedroll and it, for the sake of simplicity, I have uh, rolled it all together, but basically what it is is a vintage or old military wool blanket. So this could be substituted with a Pendleton wool blanket, which they do make new, and they're not necessarily cheap, but I do regularly see Pendleton 100% uh, wool blankets at my local REI, so they still are being made, and they still are out there. So if you can't find one of these uh, old army wool blankets, REI, or many other places sell Pendleton 100% wool blankets in place of that. And then what I have here is a canvas drop cloth, and this one in specific is made by PNW Bushcraft, but uh, there are plenty of makers out there, and that is the core of it. Now, of course, I do have it tied together and rolled up, you know, with a piece of paracord, or actually two pieces of paracord, you know, one at both ends um, to keep the whole roll together and in one kind of uh, uniform piece. But, of course, this breaks apart very easily. I'll show you guys real quick here. And so you got these two different pieces of paracord, and those just hold the ends together. So that is the core of the sleep system, and I will show this rolled out in just a minute. But the last piece I wanted to touch on is, you know, uh, what to do for a pillow. And, you know, you don't necessarily need something, but if you don't like laying completely flat on the ground, because there isn't too much bulk with this sleep system, uh, I like to use a flannel. And I've mentioned in previous videos that I've actually been a fan of carrying a flannel in my backpack here of late. And that's because, you know, one, it's something you can wear as an extra layer, but uh, you can also use this in many different ways. And it's really, uh, it really doesn't take up too much space. But one way I like to use this flannel is to kind of bunch it up together to make a reasonably small but still comfortable um, kind of pillow. And you can see it's not a huge pillow, uh, but this is actually about the size of something like an ultralight backpacker's kind of uh, pillow would be. But uh, if that's not quite your fancy or you want it a little bit larger, you can also take this same flannel and uh, bunch up some boughs, some spruce or pine boughs, and put them in you know, uh, the flannel to make it, give it some more loft and give it some more size. So if you're looking for an easy way to kind of manufacture a pillow in the field, you know, utilizing something like a flannel can help with that. Um, and if nothing else, you know, you can just take... Uh, spruce or pine boughs and put them underneath your um, drop cloth and of course this drop cloth isn't going to let any of those boughs really stab you and you're going to get some pretty good loft at the top of your bed roll. So I'm going to roll this out in the bed of the truck and show you guys what it looks like all together. Okay, so now it's in the bed of the truck, and within reason, this is about what it looks like. So you have this top layer uh, of the wool, as you can kind of see here, and then just rolling it back, you have the bottom layer underneath it. You have the 
uh, drop cloth. Now it's not a perfect 100% or one-to-one -one fit. The drop cloth is a little bit shorter. and I usually leave the short end by the feet because that's where usually the least pressure is put on. Uh, and so, you know, it's the least important to protect from moisture because primarily what this is designed for is to protect you from the moisture, from the cold of the ground, you know, and, um, it's also designed to, you know, give you some degree of protection against any rocks or any sharp kind of pokey bits that might be there. In addition, you can also fortify the whole underbelly of this drop cloth with spruce boughs if you need added protection or added insulation from the ground. So that's basically it. You know, you have one layer. Uh, so essentially how this ends up looking is that you have the layer of the drop cloth and then you have one layer of the wool blanket underneath you and one layer uh, above you. So once again, it's not a super high amount of insulation, but on a day, especially like today, where it's in the 60s, 70s at night, where it's in the 60s or 70s at night, you don't really need a lot. and You don't really want a lot of insulation above you. It's more just to keep the wind kind of off you and to give you some degree of insulation while you're sleeping. So that's basically what it looks like. And once again, if you take something like a flannel, kind of bunched up to use as a pillow at the top, it's really not too shabby a sleep system. It's very easy, very basic. And when you're done with it, you just fold the uh, wool blanket in half roll it all back up together and pack it out. So that is my sleep system inspired by Cap Hart and what his recommendations are. But it's also super simple and pretty easy to put together yourself. So as always guys, God bless and I'm out.